Hey guys, episode four, itineration four of Photoetry. Um, this one's Can We Return? Um, it was taken a while ago at, well, when I was on a break from our previous job. I was walking around the neighborhood and I saw some kids playing. And you know, I took the photo and it spoke to me, the image spoke to me, like just the situation spoke to me, but when I was writing the poem, um, it also, yeah, you know, the image, I don't know, had a strong drive or emotion to it, so that's, can we return, let's go. <clears throat> the moments that flicker by in the joy of a child, the heartaches that are denied by the joy of a child, the hope that finds its life in the joy of a child, can we return to that place? That's it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know maybe if you, before I explain like the emotional feelings behind the, the photoem, let me know in the comments, maybe pause, and let me know what what speaks to you, like what what do you think it's about? What what does what meaning does it have for you? I we teach here in China and obviously work with kids. And I mean, these kids have an intensely difficult schedule. I mean, the kids in the in the photo, one of them was my student, and she was my student from like when she was four years old, and um, just even from then, they have so many extra classes, and school goes from like eight in the morning till eight at night, Monday to Friday, and they even have schools on Saturday and Sunday as well and all the extra classes and like English extra classes and then more extra classes, math, science, Chinese, and then other English, like some of the kids go to like three or four different English training schools. So I know that the Chinese government is trying to change that and like reduce that now, like the pressure that's on kids. But the, yeah, so I was on a break from work, saw these kids playing and they were just like, you can see the trash can and, and like waste behind them. But like they had ignored all that and they were just having the time of their lives even within that circumstance and it was like a little break from them for them, a little holiday. And um, I just thought about how beautiful that is that even though they have all this pressure on them and all this these expectations that they can still find moments to enjoy and like they can enjoy themselves in mm, not the greatest of areas. <laughs> like they can have fun and they can disregard the situation and circumstances and find beauty and joy. So that's what this one is about. Uh, yeah, can we return to just finding joy in every circumstance? And also maybe can we return to having the mindset of a child where not everything needs to be as important as we make it out to be. Not everything is as important and as imperative as we make it out to be. Some things are not all that necessary to go to three different English schools or to spend nine to five, seven days a week studying. Like having a break and having fun and finding joy is, I would say, the most important thing that we need to do as families, as people, as communities. So yeah, that's what this one is about. Can we return? Thanks for watching. Just keep making stuff.